Yo guys, ah, uh, what is going on? We're back to another video, of course, tomorrow, the big one, man, the FA Cup game with Tottenham Hotspur down at the Riverside Stadium. The 2 or -oh one kickoff. Um, of course, I will be there as well. I cannot wait for him, absolutely buzzing. So, been to a few Tottenham fans yesterday in the local Asda, as you do, uh, whilst I was just doing my shopping. Um, and they actually aren't very confident for this game. They're looking at Tottenham um, might actually take the L. So, if that happens, then happy days. One thing I am hoping for, though, and it might sound whatever. I kind of want to replay because I really want to go to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Listen, I'm supposed to go there in July uh, to do a tour, but I'd love to go there for the game. You know what I mean? Feel the atmosphere. Um, yes, yeah, so I say. If you listen, if we get the job done, fantastic. I'm over the moon. But if it's a replay and I can actually manage to go to the replay, I'd be absolutely buzzing because the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is absolutely unbelievable when you look at it. It's just a thing of beauty, man. So, yeah, I really want to go to that stadium. So if you do get a draw, fair play. If you don't get a draw, listen, if you don't get a draw, but a win, happy days. And, you know, if you do lose, then it is what it is. I kind of go into it thinking to myself, as much as we're in good form, let's not forget who it is. It's Tottenham Hotspur for crying out loud. Like, they've got world-class players in the team. I get there couldn't be any sort of upset inside the cup. And I'm hoping for an upset. Don't get me wrong, I really am hoping for an upset. Uh, I hope that we can do it. But if we don't do it, then my expectations kind of like, do you know what? If we take the L, if we take the L in it, like, the league is more important, in my opinion, than what the FA Cup is. But to beat Tottenham tomorrow would be absolutely unbelievable. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'd be absolutely buzzed if we beat them tomorrow. But at least if we don't, then of course, listen, we've got the league. We're in good form in the league as well, let's not forget. So, you know, and maybe it's, maybe it's our league form might help us go into this one. You know, with confidence, morale, unbeaten in the last four. So hopefully, you know what I mean, somewhere on the line there might help us. But, you know, <clears throat> if you look back at Tottenham, of course, the manager is the GOAT. He is a special one. He's Jose Mourinho. I'm hoping to hopefully grab a photo with him tomorrow because I'm sat inside the West Stand. I'm actually above the um, Tottenham like sort of like bench and whatnot. So I'm hoping to hopefully grab a picture with him. Yeah, just for throw it out there. Thumbnail for the uh, vlog with me and Jose. If I, or Jose, if you like, as long as me and him get a photo. Uh, and of course, Tottenham's league form. It's not great, but it's all right. It's like uh, two wins, two losses, and one defeat. The league form obviously doesn't matter going to a cup game because anything can happen inside the cup game. They probably just want to come here, just get the job done and just go back to London, happy days. We have to make it hard for them. Um, and I think we will to an extent. Um, it's all about, you know, how long will the game go on if we're not scoring to keep it nil nil to try and grow in confidence, to try and grab a late winner. That's how I see it. And, you know, fair play to Tottenham fans as well. Listen, it's a 2 one kickoff. There's only one train home after the game and they're bringing nearly 5,000 supporters tomorrow. Uh, I hear that they've sold 4,900 for tomorrow's game. So the atmosphere should be on another level. It should be absolutely booming. I think yesterday there were still 24,000 tickets, I believe, sold in the Riverside Stadium. So what's that? What, 7,000 7, more? It's a complete sellout. So yeah, hopefully it's a sellout. Hopefully it's a banging atmosphere as well. But listen, I just, I just can't get over the fact that if we can actually beat these... Oh, man, it would be absolutely unbelievable. Just imagine beating Tottenham Hotspur, the Premier League team... And then, you know, we go going through to the next round. And, you know, the team that I want in the next round, people know already, I want Newcastle away. That's if they get past Rochdale today. And, of course, that's if Buddy get past Tottenham tomorrow. I'm praying for Newcastle away. St. James's Park, FA Cup, round four. be absolutely unreal. Um, but, listen, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. It's a massive, massive job at and Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, I think the only bonus, and maybe he's listening, it isn't a bonus for him. And I'm not actually celebrating that, the fact that he's injured because it is nice to see any sort of player injured. But... It's helped us massively the fact that Harry Kane has got an injury um, because I was fearing him coming here tomorrow and banging 16 past us. Um, so the fact that he's actually injured might actually reduce the deficit a little bit. We're hearing that Son could be up front tomorrow for Tottenham. Um, you know, last time he came into the Premier League, he scored two in the first half. Uh, Sky Sports News yesterday, Mourinho, sort of press conference. He said that Eriksen will play. So again, another big name on the pitch. Um, there's no left back, apparently Danny Rose and Ben Davies are both injured. So they're on about putting for Tongan, our left back. I think Michel Vorm will play, uh, he obviously in goal. Uh, who else? Alvaro will be playing, I reckon. Eric Dyer, Winks, Soko, uh, Lamella, um, of course, Eriksen, Son. So they're still going to have a fairly decent team. For me, for Butter, I wouldn't change our lineup, but let's carry on, obviously, going for what I was saying. Um, you know, Kane's injured, Eriksen's playing, Son's 50 Son's 50. 50. Will he play well enough? If he does start, then fair play. Of course, on the butter side, Daniel Ayala, our man Mountain, who's been absolutely fantastic for us this season. He's obviously injured, but it isn't okay, it isn't like a major like downfall because of course we still have on the bench that um Nathan Wood, who I think 
put him in for this sort of game. I think that might raise his game a little bit to me. He knows about the pressure of this game. He knows how big this game is. You throw him to one of these games, I think that could help him massively. Um, you know, just to go over our sort of recent cup sort of form. Of course, last season, we did the 1-1 at home to Newport. We went back to Newport. Uh, I went there, I was on BT Sport, drenched for 90 minutes, watching Buttigieg beat 2-0 to the League 2 out at Newport County. And of course, Tottenham, round 3, smashed Tramier away, 7-0. I remember watching the game, they were like 5-0 up and they brought Harry Kane on. Just for the, just because Brexit means Brexit. Um, and then of course, Crystal Palace in the next round, they went out 2-0. Um, you know, but I'm looking at it thinking, pff, anything can happen. Apart from Tramier, got absolutely smashed 7-0. I'm thinking, don't let me butter, please. Uh, in terms of my team tomorrow, these are the players that I put it. Um, Pears, Spence, Housen, Fry, Wood, Johnson. Tav, Clayton, Savile, Fletcher, Gestead. Now, you might like, obviously notice I'm putting on the new kids in that sort of lineup Because I think all them lads have actually deserved the chance to play against Tottenham. It's a massive game. It's a massive, massive FA Cup game. Put them lads into it. I think that, you know, the new signings, Robert and uh, M. Chencher, Bring them on uh, later on in the game. See, you know, I mean, see how the game's going. You know, them lads wouldn't, them lads wouldn't fully gel with the team yet. And for me, I don't want to really, good, I don't want to sort of disrupt the sort of chemistry inside the team. Play the lads we've got there. Um, you know, bring young Nathan Wood into it. See how he feels about it. You know, I mean, get him in there. Bit of experience. Uh, you know, playing a proper, proper top team. We're Champions League final this last year. It's a massive game. And it, listen, we're playing against a massive club. If we get anything against them, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, score prediction, <clears throat> I'll just go for a 1 0 butter. A proper, proper late smash and grab. If the game goes on 0 0, they may grow in confidence or we may grow in confidence. I mean, it might work the opposite way. Um, if we can get a goal on them in the game 1 0, I'll be absolutely buzzing. Go into the next round, hopefully get Newcastle away. And that's if obviously, that's if obviously they don't lose to Rochdale today. But Tottenham fans, please do have a safe travel to the Riverside Stadium. Um, listen, nearly 5,000 travelling to the Riverside, absolutely fantastic support on their side. And again, on Borough's side, uh, you know what I mean, nearly a sellout. Uh, it's going to be absolutely banging tomorrow. I cannot wait for it. <coughs> Sorry, my voice went there. If you want to be on my vlog tomorrow, please do hit me up inside the comment section and I'll get you on my vlog. Uh, as always, check out my social media's link inside the description. We are 12 away from 2.7k. So if, listen, if you're not subscribed yet, please do go subscribe. 3k is on the horizon, but 2.7k, we are 12 people away. So if 12 people are watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, please do press that red button. It only takes a few seconds. So always like, comment, share, subscribe. See you very soon. Up the butter.